I'm going to try to unitize this rope and uh, get this guy going the right way. I don't know what is going on with it. I wanted it to be nice and straight. I just. Ugh. What the heck? I'm just going to have to unitize this guy over again. Okay. I don't think I'm really seeing any conflicts with this side. I think it's most likely gonna be this side that I'm getting conflicts on. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, there's a little edge loop there too. I'm just gonna chop that all off. Um, and then grab every other edge here and move and sew. Wow, what the heck? Is this thing still attached? Why? Why is it attached? Okay. Get rid of the outliner here. I really don't know what's going on here. This guy's separated though. Like, what is this guy? What is this? What, just this shape? Fine, I'll chop that off too. Grab the whole thing now. Move and so I kind of cleaned it up. It's still, like, I'm still getting this leg of stuff over here, and I don't know why. There we go. That chopped it up. Yay. Okay. So 
So now I can assign this guy to the material here. And uh, let's see. We can get this whole thing on. Rotate this guy this way. Let me do that with the J tool for snapping. All right, and now I can scale it up so it's the right resolution. I'm gonna try to just scale it as big as I can here. Oh, and uh, also, you know, these guys are definitely not, they need to stretch more because uh, they're not the right shape. Uh, let me go into lighting mode here. Just look at this guy take this off and now I need to scale it to be that rectangular shape that the UVs should be all right not too bad some of this thing is scaling okay that seems good. Got my rope plugged in. I've got that little shadow on there, which is pretty cool, actually. It kind of separates it a little bit with the base color, and I kind of like that. I'll find my crap over here, though. This is... Pretty bad. But man, that's like that's a big trim right there. <laughs> I really hit that thing. So let's move that out of the way for right now. Let's work one at a time. Uh, this guy here needs to scale more. And, uh, and now I think I need to scale it this way because those scales were uh, not working together there. Jeez, I'm going to have to line this thing up too. Yeah, it's close enough. And this guy, where's my little triangle at? That's not part of this one, actually. Let me find this face here. Just fix this guy up. Something's going on. Maybe I need to go the other way. No, that's not helping. Okay. Uh, 
Eh, that's a weird shape. I might just do this thing here where I just kind of... No. Yeah, let me just cut that out. Just grab the whole face. Unfold the face. No, just the... Unfold the UVs. There we go. Nice and clean. Rotate it around. Scale it probably. Let me line it up with this. This is probably what I need to do is something like this right here. Kind of line it up right there. Just trying to make this as, you know, the least obvious as possible. That's doing better. The default color is not going to be everything. Let's find this guy here. Just slide him up here. That'll do. I scaled it just a little bit too much, too. What about this guy here? I just need to drag this guy out a little bit. And then I got to do the same thing on this one, wherever you are. It, it helps if this guy is like nice and evenly scaled. Because if I have any edge loops like this that are closer to each other, it's going to stand out. A lot, lot, lot. There we go. We got... We got rope. Okay. So I'm looking at you, Leo. Would I combine the decals polygon with the rest of the model or leave it separate? Decals show up fine when they're separate, but disappear when I combine them. You don't have to combine them together, Leo. Um, you're going to be exporting selected anyway, so none of these, like none of these guys, are combined together unless I, unless I. You know, like for my shingles here, I combine those together because I had to use a deformer on them. But nothing has to be combined together, really, unless you're like using it for baking or something like that. But and if you're using tiling stuff, you don't have to worry about that. When you're when you're putting when you're pulling this stuff out of Maya, you're just using the export selection tool. So it it turns into one file by itself. Um, all right. So yeah, you don't have to. You don't have to combine it together if you don't want to. That's it's prep it's preferential. If, if you have a preference for it and you and there's something that it's useful for, then yeah, that makes sense. Okay, okay. We're ready. So we're nearing the end of this thing. Uh, I wish I could have done more, really. But I, you know, I'm happy I'm, I'm helping you guys out. Paola, uh, do you have any progress? Uh, did you did you get some some better bakes on things? Let me know what's up, guys.
you are fixing the UVs, okay? Yeah, that's going to help you with your triangulation stuff, but I think you can do that. I would have recommended you, you try out the baking stuff, though, Paolo. Try that. If you can try that out now, that it would be better for me to help you fix that error because I think I think you'll be able to work with triangles and, and stretching UVs by yourself. I want to make sure that we have everything clear with baking, okay? So try out some bakes, please. That's... That's what, what I asked. Um, I want to I wanna make sure I can help you out with this stuff because me just working with Discord and you guys, are, it's not going to be as helpful. I'll stick around here. Just do like a 512 bake. See if you're getting results on things, okay? Make them quick. Just kind of load things up quick. Now, uh, what I'm going to do here is, I guess I can wiggle these guys around a little bit. Kind of slide them around. Try to get these shadows to line up on my AO. Because that could be, that's more useful to me. Now, I might lose a little bit of variety, maybe, if I do this. Because that, then it means that it's lined up the right way. But I don't know. I don't know. I think if I get rid of the like the glaringly obvious stuff, that's just going to be the main objective here. But thankfully, yeah, it's still it's still pretty jagged looking. But now my now my UVs are are doing the right thing here, and just like you know this guy too, I need to rotate him around so that I'm getting my hole in the right spot. And I think I need to move up. Actually, no, let me... Oof. Let me grab all of these guys and just move. Well, I'll exclude this one because it's already lined up in the right spot. Just kind of line it up a little bit. There we go. So yeah, my AO wasn't doing the right thing, but uh, but now it is. <laughs> Just force it to do the right thing if I'm duplicating stuff. Uh, 